Hi everyone, it's svgcoop.com and we're going to be working on another one of our pages for MA012, which is our Halloween book. Um, and you're going to make two of these pages. So I'm just going to show you what the page looks like first and then I'll show you how we put it together. So um, it's not installed, obviously. So the first thing that you're going to have is this first pocket. And we're going to make a couple of tags to stick in the first little pocket here. Put this back in there. Um, and then we're going to have a second pocket that we're going to make. And this actually can go in here and in here. And then there's another pocket right here. So I made another big tag for that. And then this will open up and we have another pocket. And we're going to make this as well. And then this all has a magnet in it so that it holds together. Okay, so let's get started. Um, first, I'm just going to grab... My, uh, we're going to start with the easiest stuff first and then we'll work our way to the more complicated pieces. Now let's see if I can just find my oval here. Okay, we're going to do the tags. So you're going to have four tag pieces. And then we're going to have a little tag like that. Pieces. Okay, and we'll have a couple of pieces that are shaped like that. So let's start with our tags first, just to make this easier. Okay, so for this one, um, when you cut this out, you want to definitely cut it on what is intricate, however you cut things that are intricate on your machine. Um, otherwise, you might have some problems with it. And I'm just going to glue, I cut one out of white cardstock, one of the pieces to go in the back. And then I also cut one out of pattern paper. So I could journal on the back if I wanted to. Or of course you can add another photo. Um, another thing you might want to consider doing to make it a little bit more sturdy um, is to maybe cut two out. You're actually going to cut two out anyway because you're making two pages like this. but. Um, cut an extra set of these out and glue them together then you could give it the double thickness and then they won't the pe little tiny pieces you know won't bend but that's it for that mat so I'm just gonna put that aside and you're gonna have one that's gonna have a little hole in the top that's so we can put an eyelid in there I haven't done that yet in the other one but I definitely want to do that and so the decorative pieces also have a little hole in them. So you just want to line up the little hole like that and then center it. Okay, give it a good rub. And then you can flip it over and do the same with the other side. Okay, and again, I'm just going to start with the hole being lined up. Okay. Like that. And then the rest will line up. Give it a little rub. Okay. Alright, so that's the next one. Put that aside. Then you're going to have a little if you can cut these mats out of whatever colors you want. I just did a black background with gray. And then, of course, I could put white on the other side um, and mat a photo. Or you could put you could cut the gray out of um, pattern paper if you want. Whatever you want to. It's just a little extra mat. And you're going to have a giant tag and a smaller tag. I'm just going to get these glued on here. And again, they have bigger holes so you can put some ribbon through it. But they are three-eighths of an inch, so you can get eyelets that are that size if you wanted to put an eyelet on there, I think. And same thing, line up the hole and then get the rest. Okay. 
Okay, let me just line up the hole. And then give it a little rub. Okay, so that's another tag. Put that aside. So then we have this tag. So I'm just gonna put this down. Of course, these are the same as the others. If you wanted to cut an extra set of the pattern paper, you could rip it and put layers on here. Um, but when I'm doing these, I just want to show you the basics. And then you can go ahead and do some extra things with it if you want to. Okay, so now you're going to have your base page, which will be um, an 8x8 piece of paper. And we're going to have some decorative pieces here. But we're going to work with those after. So you're going to have um, a piece that looks like this with a score line on the bottom. So we're just going to going to fold that on the score line here. And let me just grab my phone folder. Okay, give that a rub. We're going to have a few pieces. So you're going to have one that has a little notch in it. So we're going to fold that on the score lines as well. It doesn't particularly matter quite yet which way the folds are going. We're probably going to adjust them anyway. Um, so I'm just going to fold that. And just give it a little rub. Okay. Then you're going to have another one with the waves. We're just going to literally get these all folded for all the different pockets in here. And you'll have another big one. It's got three sides on the pocket. Oops. Okay. And then you'll have one more that has the single line on the bottom. So just hold that. Oops. Okay. And then I um, ended up cutting this out in black. I really wanted to cut it out in pattern paper, but um, I already cut it out in black. There's no score lines on it or anything, so I'm just going to put that aside because that's going with the pattern paper pieces. Um, okay, so then what we want to do, you're going to, we want to have, we have a big pocket, and then we have a little bit smaller pocket. So what we want to do, actually, is we're going to get these glued together first. I'm just going to put that aside. Let me grab my score tape. And you'll have the one with the little V. So you're going to have three sides on this piece. So we can tape all three sides here. Like that. Now what you're going to do is we're going to tape this to the matching piece, but you want to make sure when you line this up that it doesn't, um, you don't have any tape here, so it's actually going to line up with the bottom line here like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up first like this. So then you're going to have a little tab here and then you'll have the little pocket. And we're going to do the same thing with the other one. So we're just going to put some score tape on the three sides. Okay. Give it a little rub. 
Instagram. And we're going to line this up the same way with the piece that matches, like we did before. So I'm just going to And again, you're going to end up with a little tab at the end. So now what we want to do, we're going to put some, I'm going to fold this tab backwards. So I've got my little notch, see, in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking the tab, I'm putting the notch down, and I'm going to fold this back and put some tape on here. Stick this to this is our second pocket, but we don't want to get it on here, so I'm just going to fold this under like that. And I want to line these two up, so you just kind of get them lined up together like this, and then just fold that over, and that will fold over on top like that. Okay, then what we're going to do is you have one more fold here. So I'm going to this time put it on the underneath side because I want to stick it to the bottom of our pattern paper there. So I'm just going to put some tape here like that. Okay, so here's our front with a notch, okay, like that. And when you flip it over, you've got the tape right there. And I'm going to line these up. So I'm going to do it this way. And then fold that over. Okay. Now we have our last pocket here. And this one's going to go on the inside right here. I'm just going to put some score tape on the three sides. want to do and put some magnets on so I have these larger magnets they're very thin um, they're about the size of a quarter really they're super super strong so when you get them they come with these little plastic things to keep them from sticking together so I'm gonna put the one on the front and kind of where I want it I just want it to be a little bit low and I'm just gonna move it to where I want it okay and you can see the back is sticking so what I want to do is I'm gonna just lay this down Pull this one off, get a little score tape on here. Give this a little rub. Can okay, you see it went right where it was supposed to go? And then I'm gonna flip this over and pull this one off and put some score tape on it. I wanted to use heavier magnets for this because with all the tags and then once you have your photos in you want it to be strong enough to hold. So I didn't use my little ones that I normally use. Okay, and then this one, just let it go where it needs to go. Okay, then what we can do is you're going to have some pattern paper here. And you're going to have one that has the little niche cut out of it. So that we're just going to glue right on the front here. Okay. I'm going to 
open that. We have this other piece we'll put there. Now, of course, you can do these in a different order if you want to. You can put the big one first and then the little one as kind of a hidden surprise. Totally up to you. Okay, put this one on. Okay, and then what we're going to do is I remember this black piece so we're going to take this and I'm going to put score tape around three sides we're not building this like we normally build our pockets just going to do this kind of the light way I like to do it both ways this won't hold like a lot of um, things but you can definitely slip a couple photos in here or a receipt or I don't know, anything like that. Candy wrapper. So you want to do the bigger piece first. There's going to be two pieces that we're doing. So you want to lay the bigger one down first. And that's going to go right along the bottom here. And then we're going to put three sides on the smaller piece. as well. Okay. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to glue the pattern paper to the front of this side. go so then you can just take your photo mats and you can stick them inside And there you go. There's our next page. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll be back with more videos.